This is the Sonic 7 Touch tablet. Now, on the back, there's the two buttons. The on button and the menu button. The on button is the smaller of the two. There's the internal speaker here, and on this side is the um, stylus, which just slides out like that. On this side of the player, we have all your ports. There's the slot for the micro SD card, the HDMI input, the mini headphone jack, two mini USB ports, and the power input. So, to turn the player on, we press the smaller of the two buttons, the on button. Hold it down for about five seconds, and this blue screen will appear, the startup screen, and then the player will go ping. There we are. The player's now just about to bring you to the welcome page. Or the... This is the, the home page of the player. As you can see, it's a beautiful interface, and we can just slide over left and right. Works very well. I'm using the stylus for the demonstration, but you can also use your finger happily as well. There are several icons on the page. Um, clock, date, and um, this is the GPS icon. If you want to create a new icon, you just push down on a particular icon and move it up to the screen like that and let go. So like that we have the movie icon and this gramophone is the music icon and we can ha just place icons there. We can also move them around the screen by just pushing on, dragging to where we want to and then le letting go again. And we can do that for any icon. If we want to get rid of an icon, again we just push it down and then drag it into the waste paper basket or the trash, like that. So we'll bring our icons back. Along the bottom of the page, we have the list of icons of all our applications. When you've finished using the tablet, to turn it off, just keep your finger down on the on and off button at the back of the player. Hold it down, and these two symbols come up. If we press this symbol, we go back to the home page. If we hold the button down again, this symbol turns it off.